Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. And I just want to take y'all into this and tell y'all. Every move Joker came over here was worth a hundred thousand dollars. Every move was worth a hundred thousand dollars. He was bringing a hundred thousand dollars worth of that Mexican tire at his highest level. That's what we was playing for. Now his brother's in jail. Anybody that's in jail know if a nigga getting that kind of money, a nigga in jail need it. Understand that. So his brother's in jail and set to move up. Everything going right. All the money rolling. We think we done looked up on something special. Only one problem, you got a crackhead involved. Joker turned out to be a goddamn crackhead. Wind up out there on motherfucking 8 miles 75. Flashes a hundred thousand dollars on people in the bar while getting high on crack. And what did I tell y'all? Al sat there in the barber shop, counted out a hundred thousand dollars in front of motherfuckers, and they came for it. Joker, here he go. He in the bar, he got the flash, all that goddamn money on him. I only got twenty thousand of it. That's how much he spent with me. The other fucking 80000 ask him where it's at. Because his brother want to know, where in the fuck is my money? I send this motherfucker to Detroit to do a move. He wind up in jail, out here smoking crack at a motherfucking bar, flashed all this goddamn money on the motherfucker, and he thought they wasn't going to rob his ass or try to or whatever the fuck happened. Because I think they kind of might have got his ass. Cause I never heard I seen twenty thousand of the money. He spent that in about four to five days. The other eighty thousand, he was buying drinks, buying bitches, and flashing money. And I told y'all, flashing money ain't a good thing. And a crackhead sitting there smoking crack, buying liquor, flashing thousands of dollars. He flashed a hundred thousand dollars on a motherfucker and talking cash shit. I'm the Joker. I smuggled from Mexico. He in there talking all this crazy shit while flashing a hundred thousand. So motherfuckers looking at it. Maybe this motherfucking crackhead might be telling the truth. Understand that. And I just had to explain to y'all. His brother was so fucked up because his brother was counting that money. He got the first hundred thousand in Jazzu City. He got the second hundred thousand. The third hundred thousand. He got most of that, but the fourth hundred thousand, he lost all of that. His brother was so fucking pissed off, he was seeing stars in the penitentiary. And let me tell you all this. One thing that they both had in common, my father was in jail with him to watch him to make sure Joker and him wouldn't fuck over me and run the bullshit on me. So Pops is in jail with him, and he got him right there where the baby everything go, because he's right here with me, and if shit don't go right, I'm going to die on this motherfucker. Understand this. So I got him, and the Mexican felt the same way. Hey, if this motherfucker's son do some foul shit, me and my crew might have to die on this nigga. So they both thinking the same thing about one another, but when they actually, after the shit wind down, and the Mexican drug lord find out his brother was smoking crack out up there in the motherfucking bar, flashing money on people, and the motherfuckers went at him for that $80,000. So his brother was so pissed off with him, he didn't know what to do. After he talked to that son of a bitch and find out he in jail, he got to call home and tell his people something. So when he called home and tell his people, he tell his people, hey, Eddie Baby ain't had shit to do with anything that went down. I was out there, and the whole report was rolled up on the goddamn Warren Police Report. Because as I told y'all, the whole shit was on the TV. When I look up, Joker on the goddamn news. What the fuck is he doing on the news? I knew he didn't have no more goddamn dope, but he had all that goddamn money. And I told y'all. Money will kill you as fast as the dope will. Flash enough money on the motherfucker and see what happens. Flash enough money 
on a motherfucker, sitting there smoking crack, talking shit, buying drinks for the whole bar, and see what happened to you. Them motherfuckers coming at you. I don't give a fuck, the fuck who you are, the Joker, the Riddler, Batman, Robin. I don't give a fuck if you Superman. Sit there smoking crack, motherfucking talking shit, flashing all them motherfucking money on them, and you're going to wind up just like the Joker, down there under the crawl space. I never heard how the fuck he got under the bar in the crawl space. That's a story I would love to know to this very goddamn day. How did he wind up in the goddamn crawl space? Where's the $80,000 at? That's the magic question. Everybody want to know, where's all the goddamn money that he had? Who knows? Did a bitch trick him out of it? Did they rob him for it? What the fuck happened to it? Because I know goddamn well he only smoked 20000 up that fucking with crack. So it's a whole another motherfucking 80000 I know he didn't drink 80 goddamn thousand dollars worth of liquor. And I know goddamn well he ain't buy no $80,000 worth of pussy either. Now you tell me where's the eighty thousand dollars? That was the magic question. Everybody goddamn body wanted to know. His brother was steaming. Boy, that motherfucker. Boy, that motherfucker ain't nothing but a fuck up. I get that nigga fame, fortune, and glory right in his hands, and he ain't had to do nothing. Come to America, serve Eddie, baby, carry his punk monkey ass back. He did that the first time we went to him to establish the connect. So he couldn't fuck that up. He had to come, bring the dope, grab that honey, take it back to them people. Now them people wide open, they ready for this nigga to be a mule and open this motherfucker up like an 18 wheeler Mack truck. Understand that. Only one problem, that nigga smoking crack. Fuck the best laid plans fucked up by smoking crack. Crack kill Applejack. Ain't y'all ever heard that before? Crack kill Applejack. He jumped in and he couldn't jump back. He was just too blind to see. Death lives in the crack house. Understand that. Did y'all remember that old song? Crack kill Applejack. He jumped in and he couldn't jump back. He was just too blind to see that. Death lives in a rock house. Or penitentiary in $80,000 gone in mid goddamn man. What you think about that? So I got to come back and tell y'all all the final chapter of Joker, $80,000 down the goddamn drain and one of the finest plugs ever I had coming straight out of Mexico through the jungles of Mexico to deliver to Eddie Baby. What you know? Joker fucked it all up had fame, fortune, and glory right in the palm of his hands. And he chose crack. He was just too blind to see. Crack gonna have you in penitentiary. He was just too blind to see. Crack gonna have you in penitentiary. How? I don't motherfucking know. Cause as far as I know, he ain't had no goddamn drugs. So I don't know how the fuck he wound up in jail and what the fuck he was doing. I know he was on the news. So subscribe, share, thanks and like. Cash app Eddie Baby 22. Cash tag Eddie Baby 22. And that's the final chapter of the Joker. A real Joker. Understand that. His brother was so fucked up because his brother thought, damn, I might be able to stack me a couple million dollars while I'm sitting right here in jail. If this motherfucking brother of mine would just do right. But I want to leave y'all on this, and I'm going to go and go. Subscribe, share, like, and thanks. Subscribe, share, like, and thanks. But I'm going to leave y'all on this one to grow on. And I've heard it many times. I don't know how true it is, but I kind of think the old cliches have some truth to them. And the cliche was to say, if you put your goddamn family in your business, it's gonna get fucked up every goddamn time. Cash out Eddie Baby 22. Subscribe, share, and thanks. And stop over there on Crime Town on Spotify, Kingpin's Kids, and tell me what you think. 
What you think about that AI story? Can AI pick all the goddamn winners in the ACE NCAA tournament this year? Understand that. And I have to say, subscribe, share, thanks, and like, and cash tag Eddie Baby 22. And by the way, we gonna have them free Owen Israel t-shirts this weekend. So I'm gonna have them up there so you can purchase one and help us free Owen Israel Hawkins. Free Owen Israel Hawkins. And we got to get that online campaign. Everybody got to sign up to free Owen Israel Hawkins. Right here on YouTube. Them red dot and them red shoes, baby. In America, real true street crime over there on Patreon. And sign up! Because we got the first chapter, first act of the book coming up about the fat man Eddie Jackson indubitably without a doubt undisputed unreputed undeniable to understand the fat man Eddie Jackson the magic fat man Mr. President Big Bear Cola the magic fat man understand that coming to you and stop over there on Spotify Crime Town Kingpin's kids and let Ryan Gill Valley tell you more about Mr. President. Understand that because we here on YouTube, them red dot and them red shoes, real true street crime. America, real true street crime on Patreon. Sign up right down below you. Give a brother a thanks, a shout out. Understand that. And I got to start reading all the people. I done sent love to Dustin Cash that Eddie Baby 22 coming up. All the people who have sent Eddie Baby any love throughout Cash App, Cash Tag Eddie Baby 22, I got to give you all the thanks on the mic and a shout out. So understand that. Subscribe, share, like, and thanks. And if you haven't, stop over there and check us out on Crime Town. Kingpin's kid. The best laid plans can be fucked up by a crackhead. I don't give a fuck how good the plan is. A crackhead can fuck it up. Didn't y'all hear that song before? Crack kill Applejack. He jumped in and he couldn't jump back. He was just too blind to see that. Death lives in a rock house. Subscribe, share, like, and cash tag Eddie Baby 22. Peace and love. I'm out.